What's going on guys, it's Mikhail back with another video and today's video is going to be a bit different. So today I'm going to be taking a look at the new spell changes in Test Realm and giving you guys my opinions on them. I originally wasn't going to make a video on this since so many people are already making videos on it but Grandmaster did leave a comment asking me to do this so I am going to be giving you guys my opinion today. So yeah, right now I have a picture of all of the spell changes on my other monitor so I'm going to be going through the myth spell changes first. So first, one of the myth's major changes is that Orthrus turned into an AoE. In my opinion, this is definitely a good thing for uh, PvE for myth but I'm not so sure if it's a great thing for PvP. Personally, I don't do any max myth PvP so I don't know how this is going to affect max myth but when, since I do legendary myth PvP, I do know that this is going to affect the how legendary myths play. Because most of the time, legendary myths can, like, they have the option of blading up into an Orthrus or even trying to take off their stun blocks to get a Medusa stun play on them. But now, since Orthrus is no longer a double hit, it kind of takes that option away from you. So yeah, this is really going to change up the PvP scene for legendary myth. And legendary myth wasn't all that good anyways so honestly this just makes it that this just makes them kind of worse but yeah i mean it is what it is okay so the next change that myth got is that earthquake became a bit stronger i actually had to look this one up because i can't really even tell the difference honestly but yeah they buffed it by 60 damage so i mean i don't think it's gonna be it's not gonna be that different but i guess it's a better aoe because I think it does more than frog. Okay, so yeah, now it does do more than frog. I just pulled up frog on my other screen. It does 265 to 325. So now it's guaranteed to do more than frog. Which, I mean, I guess. But like, I mean, I don't think it was really needed. But I guess since it is a, a higher level AoE. And you do get them like 20 levels apart, I'm pretty sure. I guess it was a good change. But I don't think it's anything like major. So you guys know I don't have a max myth. But there are other changes for spells that I don't have on my myth right now. And the one of the main changes is Mystic Colossus. They did turn it from, it does 880 damage. And it used to remove all of the shields. So it was really just like a hit. And they would shatter afterwards. And they changed it into a pierce. And then a, a base damage of 650. PvE wise, this definitely isn't good for myth because now that means that Orthrus is just stronger in general so like people probably won't use Mystic Colossus for PvE that much but PvP wise honestly this isn't that bad like if you can get like especially in like uh, 2v2s, 3v3s, 4v4s it's not a shatter it's only a pierce but if they do just have a tower shield up then you're pretty much getting an open hit with for 650 damage and then plus an epic enchant that's doing 950 that's honestly pretty good for uh for like pvp so originally i thought that they nerfed witch's house call but then i looked it up and i guess they buffed it it looks like they buffed it by like what is that like 40 damage 40 ish damage so like i mean it's not that major of change it's not gonna like affect you that much so i don't really i don't really know that's not gonna change that much it won't change the like the pace of a match 40 damage so honestly that one doesn't really matter okay so i'm done with all the changes on my myth so i switched over to my life but also i forgot to mention i'm not going to really be going through the four pip shadow spells because honestly i feel like those are just honestly fair how they are now they 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 lowered the damage and they don't give like anything else apart from the damage so i feel like they're fair because it goes from like the strongest school has the strongest hit for the four pip shads and then the weakest school has the weakest hit so there's really nothing that's like wrong with them i'm on my life now and i'm gonna be going through the life changes so first of all life did get some pretty big changes force lord is now the rank seven spell and rebirth is now the rank 8 spell so yeah this forest lord change is going to be really good for lives for pve because i'm pretty sure this means that you're going to be able to get the force lord spell for the level 48 spell quest so honestly that means that all of the schools have a uh aoe at level 48 which makes it a lot like like really balanced they also did buff the damage on it by 60 and they lowered the pips which is kind of questionable but i mean honestly it's good for life since they actually do get an AoE quicker, uh, like earlier on inside of the game, apart from having the spend crowns to get uh, the rat spin. But 
yeah honestly i do think this is a good change something i did see people tweeting on twitter about this is though the forest lord now does more than raw which i find kind of funny so honestly they're definitely gonna have to buff raw or like i don't know what they're doing because like a a seven pip forest lord when life is supposed to be like the state this like the same strength is balance is doing more than an a pip balance spell that just doesn't make sense next it looks like they lowered the damage on hungry caterpillar from uh 950 to 1150 to 790 to 910 so i think that's 160 damage so honestly hungry caterpillar is still going to be really good like if you get a crit on this if you're running a crit life strat like that's still going to do a lot 160 isn't that much though it is it is a decent amount but it's not that much to where honestly i feel like it's not going to affect life that much I feel like Hungry Caterpillar will still be one of the better shad hits in the game. One of the weaker shad hits though is definitely Wings of Fate. This spell is still going to be trash, even from what they changed it from. I'm not even going to look at the other one. I th I'm pretty sure they weakened it too. I'm pretty sure. What well, Didn't it used to do like 550? Like honestly, I f this is still going to be trash. Wings of Fate, nobody's going to use it. So honestly, it's just, it's just bad. Okay, so now I'm on my balance and they did change a couple of things on balance. Starting with uh, Hydra, they changed it from 190 ahead to 230 ahead, so that's 40 damage per uh, Hydra head, so that's doing 120 more damage. Honestly, it did need a buff because like the average pip for a balance is like you you base you base it off of like pretty much judgment because judgment does 100 per pip, so like honestly Hydra was doing like a bit less than 100 per pip. So I do feel like this was a good buff because honestly Hydra wasn't being used at all. I still don't think it's going to be used even for like PvP, PvE. It's just not useful because you're going to be using like feints and stuff. And if one head's going to be taking off all of your feints, then it's just not worth it. You're going to use something that's going to have a base damage that's actually going to be good. So I just don't think this is going to be used for like PvP or PvE. So another thing they changed is they changed Chimera. They they only added 5 damage per head, so like that's an extra 15 damage. Honestly, that's not going to do anything, it doesn't matter. It's not going to change the fact that nobody's going to use it in PvE or PvP. So like, Chimera is still like not the greatest spell. And then there's Gaze. Honestly, I feel like this isn't good for Gaze. It's doing significantly less than the other uh, 5 pip shad hits. So like, I feel like it needs a damage buff still. And then the next spell that they changed is Nested Fury. And I actually do like this one. So like, it's pretty much, they changed it into like a Spectral Blast. It's still an AoE, but they changed it to like how Spectral Blast works. So like, the more offensive schools will have a higher hitting, uh, like a higher hitting spell. So like, they changed it, Storm doing the most damage, and then Fire's doing the most damage, and then since Ice is the weakest, they do the weakest amount of damage, which is pretty good, because I'm pretty sure it used to do like around 860 for whatever school it did. So right now, it's honestly, it's pretty good. If you're hitting Storm, you're going to do so much. If you're hitting Fire, you're going to do like pretty much, you're going to do so much on Fire too. If you're hitting Ice then that's just kind of unlucky you still have a 33 percent chance of hitting light of ice for hitting ice but like i feel like that's a good change it is i'm pretty sure it's the strongest aoe now if it hits storm so like honestly this is a pretty good change for balance because balance doesn't have that great of aoe's okay now i'm on my death but yeah they didn't change much on death one of the main things they changed on death was really scarecrow they buffed that damage by like 190 that's pretty good like it was it used to be doing 400 now it's doing 590 that's that's honestly really good scarecrow did need a buff it was a pretty weak aoe so honestly i do agree that was probably a really good change next they also nerfed lulu it used to be doing 830 now it's doing 650 so that's a pretty significant change they did lower the damage by a lot and i feel like they should probably raise it a bit more because right now it's only doing uh like 85 more I think from Scarecrow. So like maybe if they raise it like 700 that would be pretty nice. But like I feel like it should be doing a bit more. Because it feels like it's on one of the weaker ends of the 5 pip shadow hits. 
So, like, honestly, yeah, if they raised to, like, 700 or something, I'd be satisfied with that. But, yeah, I feel like it does need kind of a buff. Okay, so, yeah, I switched over to my other account, and this has my Max Storm on it. And I'm pretty sure Storm got the most amount of changes. So, we're going to start off small. We're going to start off with Leviathan. Leviathan, it looks like it received a nerf. It received, how much is that? That's, like... 45 damage nerf and it only removes one positive now or one charm it's like honestly i feel like nobody really uses single hits in uh in pve most people just use aoe's in like even against like m even against bosses like nobody really uses single hits pretty much everybody just uses aoe's to kill the boss and the mini at the same time so honestly, I think this is actually good because that means that like any boss that like can use Leviathan against you is no longer taking off uh, like two charms. Like now it's only going to take off one of your charms. So like it'll be honestly easier to beat some bosses that have uh, Leviathan trained. So yeah, I feel like it's actually better for people that are, doing, that are doing PvE. So I don't think anybody's really complaining about that change, honestly. Okay, so here's a change that I could see some people complaining about. Sirens got nerfed pretty hard. It looks like it's doing 150 less damage. And now it's only removing one charm instead of two. And it doesn't even put up the 50% uh, accuracy debuff on everyone. So, like, Sirens got nerfed pretty hard. I feel like it's it's honestly i'm not i'm not like complaining i'm not complaining about it but, like i could see how some people are complaining because right now it's not even that big of a buff from uh stormlord and like you get it like 20 levels later so like honestly i feel like it should be doing a bit more damage if they're gonna take away the accuracy debuff then they should probably be giving it a bit more damage somewhere around like 780 i feel that would probably be nice something like that because like right now it's not even that much better than stormlord like just give it if you gave stormlord 40 more damage you'd be doing the same as sirens so i feel like if you just buffed the damage a bit that would be fine but also this is still gonna help some people in pve because a lot of bosses use this in like the higher up worlds so now it won't be taking away two of your charms it'll only be taking away one so honestly that's good for then because then you end up do getting glow bugs anyway so you won't be needing stormlord or even sirens so yeah i feel like it's still a decent change but i do i do see how some people would probably be complaining about this change okay next they nerfed storm owl by about 175 damage i think which actually makes sense because since they had to nerf the shadow spells in consequence storm owl had to get nerfed because if they didn't nerf it then it would just be doing way too much damage compared to the nerf shadow spells so yeah i feel like storm owl is fine i don't think anybody should be complaining about that really it's just how it works since they had to nerf the shads so next we're getting into one of the bigger changes they nerfed bugs i think it's doing is that 180 less damage yeah i think that's 180 less damage and they removed like removing any of the charms so now it doesn't remove any charms and it does 180 less damage so like honestly this spell is significantly worse in pvp but for pve it's actually not even that bad it's still one of the higher hitting uh aoe's it does the most damage apart from the balance aoe which we went over earlier so like honestly i feel like glow bugs is in a good spot the uh the enfeeble for pvp was honestly pretty broken in team pvp especially because if you could remove all of somebody's blades and still do damage on them that's like it, it was pretty broken like i don't do that much uh team pvp but like you can just tell by looking at the card if you're doing that much damage plus removing all of somebody's blades then there's something wrong with the card honestly next we got Rasulka, which received a 95 damage nerf so it's still doing the most damage out of any of the six pip shad hits so i think it's fine it's 
it does seem like it's doing a lot of damage compared to the other six pip shad hits but it is storm so like you can you should be expecting that honestly but yeah i do like that i feel like it's a pretty good change only buff i mean only uh only took the damage down by 95 that's not that bad and honestly i feel like it's actually pretty good okay now i'm on my fire and i guess you could say fire receives some kind of questionable changes they buffed fire dragon by honestly a decent amount they raised the uh the main hit like the first hit by 160 damage and then they raised the second hit by 24 damage i think the second hit we're not really worried about it's honestly the first hit that we're kind of concerned about well that i'm kind of concerned about that feels like it's doing like way too much damage on the first hit i know that uh people were saying that before it was sometimes better to use meteor because uh fire dragon splits the damage between the first hit and the overtime so sometimes so most of the time meteor was doing more as like a main hit so fire dragon wasn't really used that much but like i feel like they, they hit fire dragon like with a buff that was way too big 160 damage i don't feel like it needed that much maybe something like 500 550 even like below 550 honestly like 500 525 i feel like they buffed fire dragon by way too much and honestly i feel like they probably should nerf it again but that's just my opinion. Some of you probably have different opinions than me. But yeah, I don't really know. Okay, so the next kind of questionable change is uh, Raging Bull. They did lower the damage by about like 70, I think. But they did increase the weakness. I mean, not the weakness, the accuracy debuff by 15%. So now it's a 40% uh, accuracy debuff, which honestly... For team PvP, this isn't that bad because now they do have kind of a significant chance of fizzling. And if you like combo this with like a smoke screen or even like a cram uh, Krampus, like if you're coordinating with your team and you're like trying to make them fizzle, you can you can like smoke screen that almost guarantees a fizzle along with a, a raging bull mantle. So like you can do a lot more of this with a, the mantle being up a bit higher from a PvE standpoint. I guess you could be kind of complaining but it's still doing a decent amount of damage fire is still probably the second best school to be hitting so there isn't really I, sh I don't see any like real reason to be complaining about this change it's honestly a pretty good change especially if you do PvP okay so next they nerfed FFA from like for like a hundred and twenty damage hundred and forty or something like that and then they changed the uh they changed the trap from a fuel to one trap that is a, vis a visual glitch it should be just one trap but like honestly this card is still really good it's doing so much damage like for a five pip shad like i feel like it just shouldn't be doing this much they should like lower it a decent amount like bounce the shad is doing like what 700 barely it's not even doing 700 i think with both of them combined and next are the ice changes. I don't have an ice, so like I can't really speak from experience. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through these kind of quick. Frost Giant, it went down by was at 15 damage. So I don't know. Nobody should really be complaining. It's 15 damage. I know ice is already weak as it is, but like it's 15 damage. Come on, like nobody should really be complaining about that. Next, Snowball Barrage. They did change that from. 10 damage per pip I'm pretty sure yeah 75 from 85 I'm pretty sure was what it was so I guess that could be kind of a significant change but I feel like it's not going to affect them that much and then lastly a bombo weaver it's doing significantly less than what it used to but since all the other shad hits got nerfed like all the other 5 pip shads got nerfed it's still going to be one of the best uh, sh 5 pip shads like, I know they nerfed the shield too from 75 to 50, but like, since they nerfed them all, a bomb, a, a bomb is still going to be really good. It's still doing so much damage. I don't know why it's doing that much damage. It's doing the same as the life, which is understandable, but I do think ice is a bit 
of a weaker school than life so i feel like life should be doing a bit more so i feel like nerfing a bomb a bit would be nice the 50 shield i'm okay with but i do think that the damage should be lowered on uh a bomb anyways guys i'm gonna end the video off here these changes are crazy so let me know what you guys think about them down below but yeah also i wanted to mention that i am gonna be doing a face reveal at 500 subscribers so if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see my face then consider subscribing and yeah if you enjoyed the video then leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time